Well, it's finally starting to feel like fall and winter is just around the corner. But, Mayor, your snow fighters have been preparing for winter since the spring. You know, when, when, you're, when you're driving those pieces of equipment and they're so large, you've got to obviously train on that. At the same time, we've been ordering salt, and we've, we're up to 40,000-plus tons of salt available. We also have been trying to think through how best to, how could we do things even better? And one of the concepts that we've come up with is to have an evening shift, uh, an evening shift that would be there, available to go to work at 5, 6, 7 o'clock at night through the, through the early hours of the morning, so that if, in fact, one little snowflake made it to the ground, we could jump on it quickly uh, without having to wait an hour, hour and a half in, in terms of getting people back in, into their equipment and ready to go. And then if it's not snowing, that evening ship can, shift can fill potholes and work on other, other, Ida, other issues that they've got to deal with. So we're excited about that. We've got the tonnage. We've bought uh, 16, 18 pieces of new equipment. Uh, we gave out some new orange toboggans. Which we're uh, all very excited about. <laughs> yeah. and, and, uh, uh, and we're going to, once again, as we did last year, allow folks to get on louisvilleky.gov, uh, click on um, um, snow removal, and you can get into your neighborhood and, and find out whether your street's been done, whether, what, when it will be done. And as you know, we, we do about a third of the streets. We do all the major thoroughfares with the state. Mm -hmm. um, uh, state does th their roads, or we're doing them for the state roads. So we do the, the major thoroughfares, the major cross streets. We do the hospital areas, access uh, to the, to the um, dialysis. Uh, dialysis clinics, things of that nature that we've got. We do the major hills and bad curves. Uh, we don't do all the neighborhood streets. No city that I'm aware of does all the neighborhood streets. Uh, so, uh, uh, but we have enough, about, I guess about 300, about 3,000 miles? 3,000 3, 3, no, 3, miles. miles mm -hmm. Of, uh, Road of roads are our responsibility, and we take that responsibility seriously. Right, and, and our priorities are really your priorities. We, we, when we're parents, we want to make sure that our kids are able to go to school. Well, in the that's morning. that's another area. We have all the schools laid out, all the access, so that when the snow kicks in and the school, the buses, they they tell you leave your neighborhood and go out to the major thoroughfare where they'll be picking folks up. We make sure that not only the thoroughfares are, are, are squared away, but access in and out of the elementary school or the middle school or the high school is available. And also the same for, for major employers when we Same sit down. thing for major employers, working with UPS, with Ford, with GE, uh, areas like that. Riverport, making sure folks can get in and out to work. And part of those new pieces of equipment that were purchased this year are additional brine distributors for, for our, our guys and our yeah, women. Yeah, those have worked really well. You know, we tried it as a pilot, and now we've got another, I think we're up to about 12, mm -hmm. 12 or, about or so, uh, 12 to 15 of these brine uh, containers, which allows us to treat the asphalt before it gets so cold that, uh, that the snow will stick. And then as the snow comes down, the brine's already on the road, and you can see the little lines, little white lines along the road. You know that we've been there. Uh, and that has worked exceptionally well. So we continue to purchase additional uh, materials and equipment to be able to distribute the brine on the major thoroughfares throughout the city. And the men and women who are with the Public Works Department, with MSD, um, with our Parks Solid Ways. Parks Department, they're all working together as a team. And they really do a tremendous job. You know, while we're all uh, uh, in our homes trying to stay warm or trying to figure out what the next step is, they're out away from their families, whether it's night, whether it's a holiday, uh, doing their job, and they do an excellent job. We're very fortunate. And we miss here in Jefferson County, when you're talking about the public school system, fewer days than really anywhere else in the Yeah, the school uh, system director the other day, director of, of facilities, was saying that uh, based on the job we do, he said, I think the students are probably not as happy <laughs> as some of the surrounding counties because we really don't miss much school as a result of bad weather because our crews do a pretty good job. So don't forget to check out the snow map at LouisvilleKY.gov. And don't forget to check out Light Up Louisville. It's just around the corner. And here he comes, the man of the minute, the man of the hour, the man of the season. 